part of the day for 10th grades. Are you ready for English lesson? Today we have last lesson from your textbook. Then we will do revision lessons. Lesson 2 B World Literature Second Part Consolidation. Before starting our lesson, let's check your control walk. Activity 3. You had to complete the table about adjectives. The first part that was given to you, for example, cheap, strong, important, modern, long, bad, good, dangerous. You had to complete second and third part of the table. Let's check. Cheap, cheaper, the cheapest. Strong, stronger, the strongest. According to the rule of one syllable adjective, we add er to the comparative degrees and es with the definite article the in superlative degrees. What about the word important? More important, the most important. More than two syllable, we have to use more before adjective and the most in superlative degrees. Modern, more modern, the most modern, according to this rule. Long, longer, the longest. It is also one syllable adjective. But bad and good, they are irregular adjectives. We change them completely. Bad, worse, the worst. Good, better, the best. And the last one, dangerous, more dangerous, the most dangerous. I hope you all did it correctly. Let's move activity number four on page 167. Here you can find out very beautiful poem by Masa Teresa. According to the rule of your textbook, you have to read it in pairs, then discuss. But let's change the rule because you cannot do in pairs now. I have very interesting video about this poem. Please watch and read, by the way, then please Write your answer. What do you think about this uh, poem? Send it to your teacher. Are you ready?
Thank you, dears. After our lesson, please read the poem one more time and write what do you think? What is the moral of this poem? Activity 5 on page 168. Here, you should fill in gaps by using the words in the box. The words die, visit, write, love, become, work, move, not, live, be. Here you can use be twice. In this activity, you have to use present simple sentence and past simple sentence. What is the differences between them? In present simple, we describe the actions which we do regularly. In past simple, as you know, it is completed actions. Here you can see an example. William Shakespeare Gap born in Stateford on the April 23rd, 1564. So, dears, what is the word hidden? Was. I give you 20 seconds. Please put six numbers and write just answers. Are you ready? Time is going. Thank you, dears. Your time is over. Are your answers ready? Let's check. The first one, he, Gap, on the same day, April 23, 52 years later. He died. The second, over 500,000 tourists, Gap, stayed for every year. Visit. It is present simple tense. Shakespeare, again, gap in state for all his life. Your answer? Did not live. It is past simple sentence. He, again, gap to London in 1585. Moved. The second part, fourth. In London, he, gap, as an actor and he, again, gap, plays. He worked as an actor and he wrote plays. The fifth one, people, Gap Shakespeare's plays and he a rich man. People loved Shakespeare's plays and he became a rich man. The last one, Shakespeare's plays still very popular or still very popular. Activity 6 on page 168, here you have to use the past simple and the past continuous. As we discussed it, past simple, it is completed actions. What about past continuous? We use past continuous with a certain time in the past. For example, about 3 o'clock yesterday. Your action had to begin before 3 o'clock and finish after 3 o'clock. Example. I was dancing at 3 o'clock yesterday when my dad came back. I began dancing before 3 o'clock and I finished it after 3 o'clock. Here you have to complete sentence with the correct form of the verbs. Past simple or past continuous. Again you have 20 seconds. Please put numbers, 6 numbers and write just answers. Not else.
your time is over. So, let's check. The first one is an example. The first Globe Theatre burned to the ground in 1613. Burn it. The first one. Actors perform. You should uh, write the true form of the word perform. We're performing the play Henry VIII at that time. They were using a real cannon on the stage when suddenly a fire started in the roof. The fire force moved quickly through the wooden building and destroyed it completely. A year later, here you have to use the verb open in the right tense. Open the globe theater again. So, dears, today we have to talk about differences present perfect tense and past simple. Because in your next activity, you have to make up sentence in present perfect tense. In present perfect tense, we have two auxiliary verbs. Have for I, we, you, they. I have cleaned it like this. And has for third person singular. She has cleaned it. Another example, we have done our activity. So, dears, the present perfect describes an action which has connection with present. It is completed action, but there is a connection with present. If you say, I have cleaned my shoes, it means you have clean shoes now. If you say, we have done our activity, it means you have ready activity, teacher can check. But in past simple, we use completed actions. I cleaned it 20 minutes ago. It doesn't mean that you have clean shoes. I cleaned my shoes 20 minutes ago. It doesn't tell that you have clean shoes now. And we use same structure for all pronouns. He clean it, she clean it, it clean it, we clean it, you clean it, and they clean it. Here, we did our activity. Maybe you did it yesterday or two days ago. Maybe your teacher checked it or not. The sentence doesn't tell about it. Another difference is we use Web3 in Present Perfect and Web2 in Past Simple. Let's move the activity from your textbook. On page 169, please again put numbers and try to do activity. I give you 20 seconds one more time, then we will check together. Are you ready? Thank you so much. Let's check your answers. The first one, you see the film of Romeo and Juliet. Your answer? Let's check. Have you seen the second one, Shakespeare's plays? Yep. Here you should uh, use the verb be popular for centuries. Has been popular. The third one, she has worked in the theater, but she hasn't appeared in any film. Second part, fourth, we just study some of Shakespeare's poetry. It is difficult to understand because English. We have just studied. English has changed a lot of since uh, 16th century, the last one. How long has he known the drama teacher? So, relative pronouns. You discuss it with your teachers. Let's revise one more time. We use who for people. Example. What is the name of the man who created the internet? Which for things and animals? 
this is a TV which works and that is a TV which doesn't work and where for play this Andijan is the place where great poet Babur was born I hope you all remember the rules for relative clause because you have a home task about relative clause so dears your home task the first one as usual make a list of the vocabulary which you have learned today and activity 8 complete the sentence with a relative pronouns where who which which we discussed a few minutes ago I hope you successfully do this activity then we will check next time thank you for your attention try to do your best I wish you success in your learning process See you next time.